Hey guys, so um, I feel a little weird about making this video, but it was specifically requested. So I guess I'm gonna make this video. Um, we are going to continue on with the basics. I have a rash going on, firstly, because I wore a necklace that apparently my skin didn't like, and for some reason it spread to the underneath of my chin. So we're gonna cover that up. And also, the part that makes me uncomfortable is that um, a friend of mine asked me to do a boob contour video. I've never needed to contour my boobs, but anyways, I'll, I know how to do it, so I'll do it, because I feel like it would be unfair. So anyways, um, first thing that we're going to do is, uh, we'll start with this. So the key to covering up any redness is, believe it or not, green. Um, there is a great product by Smashbox, and you can get it at Sephora. It is right next to the, the primer that I showed you for your face, um, that clear bottle. It's actually, it's green. It looks like guacamole in a tube, and it's fabulous. And I would totally recommend you buy it because then you don't have to mix your own and get the fluorescent kind of shine that I'm gonna have on my neck all day today. So, anyways, let's get started. I'm going to do a tinted moisturizer because by nature it's a little thinner, has some SPF, it's probably going to be gentler on my skin, it's going to moisturize that nasty rash. I'm going to be generous today, so I'll do that. And then, since I have a nice liquid green here, and this is, it is Makeup Forever 12 color palette. I think that's the only name for it. So anyways, we've got a nice heap of um, stuff there. Then we're going to go ahead. I can't decide what brush I want to use for this. I never know. So anyways, just get some green out with whatever. Decent amount of green. And we'll mix it right on in there. Just like this. And it's going to look a little bit funny. Um, but you do not want too much green. Because if you got too much green, you're going to walk around looking like the Grinch. Um, if that's your thing, then I apologize, but <laughs> for everybody else that doesn't want to look like the Grinch, um, we're going to go ahead and go with this. So, it will be pretty green to start with, and remember, you can always cover it up with more, um, skin tone colored foundation, unless you're green, in which case this is skin colored foundation. Alright, let's see. And you want it to be really somewhere in the middle there. It's kind of hard to tell that it's even green, right? Over the camera, at least. So, a little dab will do you to start with. And I am a big fan of always patting, not smearing. So go ahead on like that. And make sure to really isolate all the red areas, get the edges around it. Just make sure that you're doing a nice job of covering it up. Okay, it's not gonna look fabulous to start with. It's gonna look a tiny bit like a hickey. It's okay. To be frank, I would rather look like I have a hickey than like an entire like choke pattern going on. So let's keep going. Got a little dot down there. I have some here up on my shoulder. There's a little more around here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. You can already see that redness disappearing from the left side of my body. And I do look green. I look a little sickly. We're going to even that out in just a second. The trick is always layering. You will find layering. Di oh, someone's on Skype. Layering different products and layering different textures, layering different colors, etc., etc. But getting there, not going to lie, look a little grinchy. So anyways... Keep going in here. Feel free to fast forward all this repetitive stuff. That's cool. I understand that most of you are here for the boob contour. So. There we go. I think that's a sufficient amount of green. And you can already tell so much of that red has disappeared from like, especially this part, because I was not careful with this part. Now that I'm looking at it, let's go ahead and get some more green on in there. All right, and dab instead of smear, as I have always told you, I may or may not have been a bad influence in here for just a bit. Um, pat on that green. 
I'm going to save this on my hand for just in case he's for later. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with my regular Makeup Forever foundation. And this is just the way that I do it. This is probably the most improper way to do a cover up in the history of ever. But um, this is how I do my makeup. So I'm going to show you guys how I do my makeup. And you're going to go back over that green with whatever full, hopefully full coverage makeup you use usually because you should be pulling um, some of your foundation down into these areas anyways. So it really should blend out nice and even for you. Pat, pat, pat. This itches like no one's business and I don't know what I did to deserve this. This is what I get for wearing any necklace with nickel in it for the rest of my life, even though I know better. So, pat, 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 patting. Snaring on and patting. Boop, 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 boop. And, you know, it's really not perfect, but there we have an at least passable cover-up of a terrible rash. I might try to do a before and after picture for you. We'll see what happens. So now what we're going to do is contour my boobs because apparently that's a thing that everybody wants to see. Um, so now I'm going to wipe all of the green makeup and skin tone makeup that I have off of here. And, um... Basically, what contouring is all about is about highlights and lowlights. So, you are going to use makeup in whatever form that is dark, slightly darker, a couple shades darker, and a couple shades, shades lighter than your natural skin tone. So, as far as breasts go, what we're going to do is um, we're going to do three nice dark contours, and they are going to go in the areas of here here and here and just beneath those we're going to do two contours on either side so i'll show you how to go ahead and do those right now so um you can use all kinds of different products for this i'm sure that there are different product lines that are specifically for contouring and i should really have looked into that before starting this tutorial but anyways um personally um, if you can use foundation and tint it, that's always good. I have the option of doing that, but you might not. So, um, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go ahead and try to use a nice little blush contour for you because, um, I like it because it's nice and soft. I like it because you can tell right where it is. I like it because it's easy to get off. I like it because, um, you can tell exactly where it's going and it's not going to be as thick when you step outside of the house as immediately after you put it on. So it's always good. Anyways, so we're going to take a tone that is a little lighter than our skin tone. I'm going to go with this one and then blend it out really well. So I'm going to go ahead and get it on my brush. And I would rather have a too large soft brush than have a too small hard brush because what you really don't want are lines that make it look like you have rock hard boobies. So anyways, this is so weird and I'm so sorry. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to go straight down into our breast line like that. And that's going to pull where our breasts start way up. So, you can see that's pretty dark. It looks like I'm bleeding out the boobs. And we can blend that. And it's pretty easy. Just pull right on up. I forgot to tell you about my recommendations. I recommend before you start this tutorial um, that you either do it in your bra, and there is no shame in helping bras. I will tell you that right now. Um, I have one on right now that hooks in the back, um, optionally, and I really like that for special occasions because it brings them way together. So helping bras are good. There's no shame in stuffing and um, Yeah, do this either in your bra or like a black tank top like don't do it in like whatever gorgeous white outfit You're wearing out, please. I cannot be responsible for that So anyways, I'm gonna continue with this Now that we have our nice line going directly up what we're gonna do is take it around to the sides 
just a little bit. And this is a subtle contour. We don't, I have no reason to go about my life um, with anything but a subtle contour. Because I have no occasions to go to right now. Um, if you want something a little more dramatic, I will consider doing another one of these because I really, really love you viewers. But, anyways. So, those are our two... <sighs> those are our two nice dark contour lines that we're putting in right there. And once again, these can be pretty rough. And you want the line that is towards the bottom, so this line here, to be a lot harder than you want the top line to be. So the top line can blend out while the other one isn't quite as blended, but I would still recommend you not have the harshest lines in the entire world. So, I need to get a better camera for this because it's really hard to tell where my lines are. So anyways, boop de boop So anyways, we're making a little, like, fountain-shaped installment in our breasts today, and then... What we're going to do is go ahead and take our highlights. And what I have, I have no idea where I got this, by the way. I'm really sorry. Um, but it is called Oh La La, Oh La Lift, Oh La Lift. Yes. And it is a highlight, and it is from something called Benefit. And it has done me well over um, the years. It says that it's for under eyes, but it's for anything that you feel like. So anyways. What you're going to do is draw right under that line. Go ahead and get it right on there because if you're using a liquid like I am, it blends out so well. So right underneath that line in there. doesn't have to be precise. And whoop, oopsie daisy. Now what we're going to do is blend these two on out. This is the most awkward tutorial of my life, just so you know I'm never doing anything more than this. So, here we go. And now we have contour boobs. Anyways, so that's how you contour boobs, and that is how you cover up a nasty, disgusting necklace from... rash necklace. Necklace rash? Who knows? Anyways, have a good day. Hopefully our next tutorial will be a little less icky. Bye, guys.